In this video, I have a K4600 that I need to do. This came out of a Sega Gremlin, uh, what was it called? Uh, Carnival, sorry, brain fart. Uh, it's pretty dirty. It did come on, uh, it had some major, major focus issues. And they say, you know, the, these uh, flybacks are indestructible. So one thing that is kind of a benefit is the Stargate here also has a K4600 in it. So I'm able to test the tube and or test this on that tube when I get done, but I might as well do both of them at once because I'm restoring this game too. So uh, we'll go ahead and do them both at once and hopefully it'll make it a little easier. And if I need a little part off of one to get the other one going, until I get some in the mail, and I can do it that way too. Stick around, and we'll get them figured out. <laughs> Cat tail. Cat jumped right in the way. Okay, so the main thing I want to talk about this one is you're going to recognize it by having this little plastic thing in here. And it's got these two daughter cards that you can see. And they those have most of your pots and stuff on them. And they're odd. They're different sizes. Some of them are hard to find. The other thing you're going to notice is that the flyback kind of sits off on its own. This one is really dirty. And then if you're trying to take it out, the first thing you're definitely going to find out is that the flyback is attached separately. But the next thing is there's a width coil that's separate. There it is. And it is soldered into this frame. But this plate usually unscrews in these four spots here. I find it, depending on the monitor location, for me, usually it's easiest to take out this whole plate. And then when it's out, once it's outside, I can just desolder these two little wires off of there and it's no big deal. You can snip them and then try to uh, tw twist them all back together, but it, it's not very easy. But let me get this set up where we get a little bit better light and I'll clean it off a little bit and we'll start to see if there's anything obvious. Not the exact colors that I'm looking for, but um, that could be the TPG too. I could uh, have it on there backwards, but it is working. I just need to do a little adjusting here and there. The image doesn't seem to be quite so stable. Need to check the B plus as well. But it does look like we have an image. It is starting to stabilize now. I can see it. It's just uh, out of whack in the wrong colors. It actually looks the right colors in the camera. That's odd. It's not perfect, but it's better. So we got kind of a Nike swoosh up here at the top. And then we have a whole section of blank over here. So it looks like the pin cushion's off and we need to move it left or right, or right, uh -huh. and convergence too. That, that's, that's a tube issue, but getting much closer. Get this one going and all we gotta do is do the same thing to the other one. <laughs> all right, the adjustments are here. You have your three colors and then you have a uh, brightness here, this black one. Your focus is over here on the flyback. And down here, we have a vertical hold, or I think it's actual horizontal. Yeah, horizontal hold, vertical hold, and then vertical size. You can see those, one, two, and three. And then there's another one that's up there in the little box. And I'm pretty sure that's horizontal frequency. And then on the back side of this one, ooh, Right there, you can hit with a screwdriver. That's your uh, black level. That's a black level. This one's the brightness here, I think. But yeah, getting pretty close. It's definitely like, it was so blurry before. That was definitely, I mean, it could have been caps too, but that had to be one of the problems there it was the missing, uh, what do they call them? Uh, ceramic capacitors. All right, I'm gonna keep digging and poking around. Okay, I hurt my wrist <laughs> somehow capping this thing. I'm done with the caps. And these are the two uh, boards I was talking about. One is the XY board, one's a video board. And these are the connectors. 
and the headers that you're gonna wanna pay attention to. On the underneath side of here, you wanna reflow these headers. And then on the back side here, you wanna reflow them. They've taken a lot of abuse being pushed down and, and moved around anytime there wasn't a signal on this thing. Uh, the original problem with this chassis was uh, the focus. There was really, really bad focus and you, you couldn't adjust it at all. And it's common on these. This is the pot on the flyback over here. And it does feel like it's freely moving, but I don't think that's it. What I found was right here on the neck board. Let me find it. Okay, see right there, there's four legs right in front of my thumb. Right there. <laughs> so there's a couple caps missing there. C409 and C416 or C410. C410 makes more sense. Uh, I don't know if those got broken off or if they were cut off intentionally. If that was a, it doesn't look like a factory mod because the legs are still soldered in on the back. I'm guessing maybe they just got broke off. But since the Stargate monitor is the same one, we'll be able to compare the two and I'll get a little bit better idea of where that's supposed to go or if anything's supposed to go there, I mean. So I'm gonna move uh, Tapper out of the way for now and we're gonna pull out Stargate and put it in its place for just a few while we test this chassis. And obviously I think with, we'll look first and compare, but if uh, the other one's missing these, then we'll check it out and see if we have any difference. There's two things I know that, that go bad and that deal with focus. One is this cap right here. It's tied into um, the, one of the wires that comes from the flyback here. And I don't know if we can see down in there, there's where the other leg goes. And then the other one is this cap back here. It's uh, 0.1 and 1500 volts. And it's a axial cap. It's like, I think like a four or $5 cap. It's not one I've ever had to change before, but I've never had this problem before, even though it seems to be common. And some people actually just change this pot is that okay it, it, i guess it does uh i thought it was part of the flyback but it looks like it just screws on the bottom there there's a nut and stuff there that holds it on so you know if, if we need that pot or something like that off of my chassis to get this one going that's fine uh i always will get the customer's monitor working first and then i'll i'll uh order myself one or find myself another off of a spare chassis later on like I said, let's go ahead and pull this out and pull the other chassis off, do a little comparison, and then uh, we'll fire this one up and then I'll rebuild the other one. We'll be right back. This is the chassis out of Stargate and C410 and C409 were populated on this one. So I'm just gonna take this neck board off and swap it with this one for now, as I am almost 100% positive that that's going to be our problem looking at the way the circuit flows. So let me check that out. You can see how dirty one is compared to the other. <laughs> and we're going to throw it in Stargate over here and check it out. I think it should be fine after this. Stay tuned. Okay, so I think the problem is my test pattern generator. It's a little off here, but n I mean, just barely, maybe like a half an inch. It was like this far off before. So I think we can live with that and we can position the, the bezel inside to, to hide that a little bit. That's not as bad. This is just running just the Stargate and the rug pattern and it has no RAM in it, so it's not gonna run. But I think that solves that problem. And now I just need to check the actual chassis for Stargate which is the original one that's in it. But that might be the end of this one. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I've already capped that chassis, but I don't know if I'm gonna throw it in and test it and everything yet. Okay, this is the actual chassis for Stargate. And you can see it's pretty close to the edge here, almost all the way, almost like a quarter of an inch or so. So it looks like both of them have that problem slightly, 
but this one is a little better and <clears throat> this one actually has the XY card out of the other one in their flip flop. So when I take uh, his chassis back to him, I'll take both XY cards and see which one works better. But it looks like the chassis are fine. The major problem was the battery in my test pattern generator. When it's low, and it wasn't even real low, I think it was like 7 volts or so. It should be 9, but just a little off and it's going to throw your pattern off and your make your chassis look bad. <laughs> I wasted a lot of time on that. Not a lot because it, it did improve, actually. But uh, I'll end that one here because uh, we've got a lot of work to do on Tapper. And I'm going to start that video right after I end this and edit. So, see you in a few. So, these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So, what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it, too. So what hang on. <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.